With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question given here is when one bromo, one methyl cyclohexane is heated in ethanol for an extended period of time, three products result. So, and one ether and two alkenes, one ether and two alkenes uh, among the three products. Okay, predict the products of this reaction and propose mechanism for their formation also mention the major elements and product. What is asking here that when we react one bromo, one methyl cyclohexane and uh, with ethanol, then we got, uh, we get one ether and two alkene. Okay, we have to tell which are these products and uh, we have to draw their mechanism. So, the starting material is 1 bromo, 1 methyl cyclohexane. 1 bromo, 1 methyl cyclohexane. 1 bromo, 1 methyl cyclohexane. Now, here will be two types of reaction SN1, E2. Okay, so first we are uh, trying to make the E1 reaction. Uh, sorry, SN1. So in this stage, the bromine will leave, and we will get a carbocation CH3 plus. Now we have ethanol that is ETOH. The lone pair of oxygen will attack the positive carbon. CH3 O H ET plus. Now we have more ETOH that is ethyl alcohol or ethanol. This hydrogen will be attracted by another ETOH and the bond will break on the oxygen. So finally, we will get a ether CH3OET. And the name of this ether is 1 ethoxy 1 methyl cyclo. Xen. This one is ether, and there will be two elimination reaction. How? This is our starting material CH two hydrogen. Okay. Uh, now, in respect to this bromine. There are two beta hydrogen. Why? This is alpha position, this is beta position, and again this is beta position. So there is two beta hydrogen. Okay. So ETOH can react like this. ETO in one way, this proton can be abstracted, and the product will be. Uh, CH2. Okay. And in another way, ETOH, this hydrogen can be abstracted and the product will be double bond here and here is a CH3. Okay. Now, Name of this product is methylene cyclohexane and name of this product is 1 a methyl cyclohexane. 
Now, according to set Jeff rule, more substituted double bond is more stable. So that's why one methyl cyclohexane is more substituted than methylene cyclohexane. That's why one methyl cyclohexane will be our uh, most stable elimination product. Okay. These are elimination uh, product. Sorry. Okay. These two. And this is most stable elimination product. Uh, also mentioned the major elimination product. So the major elimination product will be one methyl cyclic. Okay. Hope you understood. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and neat level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download doubt and app today.